All right, guys, as I mentioned, we're joined now by Houston Dynamo FC head coach Paulo Nagamura. Uh, Paulo, thank you for taking a couple minutes with us. Uh, we'll just start off as, as I usually do. If you can just give us your overall thoughts on the game and how you felt your team played this afternoon. Uh, very, very even game. I think uh, in general, I think our team was uh, very good. Defensively solid. Uh, great couple of opportunities offensively. I think it was a very hard for game. I think we we had a plan going going to the game. I think we executed pretty well uh, uh, for the most part. Uh, frustrating uh, because I think what we did today, I think it's again, it's another game that uh, how how can you how can you not get out of this game with something and and I think that's been uh, a lot of times same story, same story of our season. But uh, to be honest, I think uh, I think our team played really well. I think they fought. I think they defend well for the most part. And uh, some mental errors there uh, again uh, made us come out of this game feeling feeling like crap. So. Okay. Thank you for that. And guys, if you have questions for Paula, we'll start with questions in English, then go uh, Spanish, and then Portuguese. Uh, we'll start with Victor Ariza from the striker. Go ahead, Victor. Hey, Paulo. Obviously not the result you guys want to take away, but, um, you know, having Minnesota there uh, in control for, for a large part of the game, I mean, um, again, does that make for more positives to take, um, you know, in hindsight, uh, besides the result? Yeah, look, we play a, a, a we play a team that is that is on top of our conference on their place, and I think again, I think it was toe to toe, like you said. I think it was very even game. I think we we minimized Reynolds on the ball and minimized their chances. Um, offensively, we had a couple of good opportunities. Um, scored a great goal for Corey. Again, uh, it's frustrating because we we did enough to come here and get the three points and to. To lose, to go ahead and lose in the last 10 minutes today, again, it's, it's frustrating, especially in the way that we were considering the goals. Like mental errors that uh, that is costing us, is really costing us. Maybe it's hard to, to recollect, but just, you know, what was your reaction um, when that first goal was in, that, that first goal goes in from, from Papa, the own goal? Um, you know, on the sidelines and trying to maybe, you know, obviously stop the situation. Look, yeah, I mean, it's it's uh, unlike deflection by Fafa. Don't get me wrong, but we should never consider the foul in the first place. Uh, I think we have the ball and we're rushing with 10 minutes left to play out of the back with no space to play out of the back. So, uh, again, decision-making, uh, again, cost us. And I think it's, yeah, is that is is the unfortunate deflection of Fafa, but I think just before the foul, we, we we dealt really really badly with the situation, and and out of our possession, we give them a foul and a foul that lead to the, to the goal. Uh, Quinones makes the debut. He he looked to have a a bit of speed. Uh, obviously, I imagine um, the short minutes he has has to do with the fact that he just came in. But what did you see from him? What did you like from the new signing? Yeah, I mean, look. He, he brings something different. Uh, he's very offensive minded, he has speed, he's very explosive. So we'll keep him building up uh, in those last seven games that we have. You guys look to now um, LAFC, maybe Herrera comes back. Um, what, what's your confidence level in the team heading into this game, obviously, with, with the current run? Confident is good. I think we show again today that we can play toe to toe to any team in the league, away or home. It's a matter of, of the, if minimizing the, the mental mistakes and uh, and be concentrated for for full ninety minutes. And again, I think I think that was the case today. I think we we had a we had a good game. We had a we had a very uh, positive performance. And to come out out of this game without any points is just frustrating. It really is. Well, last one. Corey Baird gets his first MLS goal uh, here in Houston. Um, you know, obviously, it's taken him a little bit, a little while, but just, you know, what have you seen from him in, in trying to maybe unlock him a little bit more in the attack? Yeah, Corey has worked his way up and back again. I think he's, he's 
is doing well in training. I think he, he got his chance and he got his opportunity and he is, is he has done in the last two games. He is the kind of player that works for the team. Uh, very disciplined and and I'm pleased that today he got a great goal. So uh, that's what we need. We need guys to step up and then through these difficult moments to step up and and deliver. And I think he's 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 been doing well in the last few games. Okay, not seeing any others in English, so we'll switch over to Spanish. Uh, vamos a cambiar la pregunta en español. Uh, Paulo, uh, uh, ¿qué pensó sobre el partido y en tu, en tu opinión uh, cómo jugó tu equipo? Uh, la verdad creo que fue un una buen partido del equipo. Yo creo que es eh, muy sólida en un, en, un, en un sitio que es muy difícil sacar puntos. Yo creo que jugamos contra un equipo que está muy bien formada y muy jugando muy bien con un jugador que, que, que define cuando, cuando tiene chances. Yo creo que minimizamos mucho las chances que, que tuve en dos en partido. Yo creo que minimizamos mucho de las chances que como podrían ser peligrosos Minnesota. Uh, los muchachos pelearon por, por, por todo el tiempo y es frustrante porque eh, dos goles que son mejores infantil, errores, errores que, que, no podemos, que no podemos tener el primero cuando tenemos pelota y estamos intentando salir desde atrás donde está, estamos marcados eh, y regalamos una falta que, que, lo, lo, que lo hace el primer gol y el segundo un error de marcación donde dejamos un jugador libre uh, ahí eh, en nuestra espalda. So, eh, es frustrante por la, por la por, por el rendimiento, que yo creo que el equipo fue por mucho tiempo muy bien y a salir del partido con zero, con puntos, con nada de puntos, es, es frustrante. Es frustrante porque yo sé cuánto esos muchachos trabajan diariamente, y, y, pero tenemos que minimizar esos errores que están nos costando muchos puntos este año. Okay, gracias para eso. Um, vamos a César Procel de Radio TUDN. Adelante, César. Muy buenas tardes, profe. Eh, antes que nada, gracias por su tiempo nuevamente y por, por este, salir a hablar con la prensa desde, después de un, una dolorosa derrota que sabemos que el equipo fue un partido muy parejo. Eh, ¿Cuál cree usted que sea el, el factor que afecta eh, al equipo? Porque han sido varios juegos en que el equipo de Dynamo tiene la ventaja, pero no puede mantener esa ventaja. ¿Qué, eh, mencionó lo mental. ¿Qué, ¿Qué es lo que afecta al equipo según su opinión? Bueno, yo creo que nuestras decisiones en momentos capitales del partido están nos, están nos matando, la verdad. Con 10 minutos uh, para encerrar el partido y nosotros intentando jugar con presión desde el atrás, yo creo que es un mejor mental del equipo. No creo que, eh, no creo que estemos poniendo la, la, la equipo como un todo en mejor situación, ¿no? Eh, y... y y yo creo que eso, estamos eh, teniendo mejores que estamos costando goles. Eh, Nelson Quiñones, ¿qué calificación le daría a los minutos que tuvo y, que, y en general qué destaca de las habilidades que Nelson Quiñones puede aportar al equipo naranja de aquí en adelante? Sí, sí Nelson es un jugador muy agresivo, muy explosivo, mucha velocidad, costa de encarar el jugador uno contra uno, yo creo que eso... Nos falta mucho a uh, extremos que le encaran, que le, que le intentan sacar jugadas, que intentan crear jugadas. Pero so, tuve do, do, dos, tres entrenamientos esta semana. Yo creo que todavía tiene que agarrar un poquito más la forma física y, y, y poder en, poner en una forma que, que nos ayude con más minutos ahí en los últimos siete partidos. Eh, dos más, si me permite, profe. Eh, ¿Nos puede hablar un poquito sobre la situación de Héctor Herrera, sobre qué, qué es la, la lesión que tiene y cuánto tiempo espera que esté fuera o podríamos verlo en acción este próximo miércoles? Sí, tuve, tuve, tuve una lesión uh, uh, entrenamiento esta semana, pero no tuve tiempo de recuperar, pero no creo que sea mucho nada grave. Excelente. Y ya por último, eh, Los Ángeles FC pierden anoche, obviamente vienen dolidos con dos derrotas eh, seguidas. Eh, ¿Qué espera o qué, o qué ajustes piensa usted en, en este momento para contrarrestar un equipo como LAFC? Sí, no, eh, el, el, lo, uh, ya tenemos el partido en tres días, tenemos que levantar cabeza y a trabajar porque eh, so, sí creo que cambió las cosas. 
pero hay muchos positivos de eso. Yo creo que tenemos que estar más concentrados, enfocados por 90 minutos. Eso para mí es el, el, el más importante que saco de este partido hoy. Frustrante que no sacamos nada. Uh, tenemos que estar más concentrados por, por todo el partido. Excelente, profe. Que tenga un viaje. Gracias. Gracias. Ok, y por último, uh, cambiamos a portugués con uh, Tiago Brandal de Territorio MLS de Brasil. Boa noite, Paulo. Thiago Brandão, aqui do Brasil, do Território MLS. É, desde o jogo contra o Union, a equipe vem melhorando seu rendimento, mas mesmo assim não consegue vencer. Faltam sete jogos para acabar a temporada regular. E a equipe hoje se encontra a dez pontos do primeiro colocado, não, do sétimo colocado da conferência, que é o Porto. Você acredita que ainda dá para chegar nos playoffs? Sim, eu acredito. Acredito. Está difícil, mas eu acredito. Eu creio que eu acredito que como a equipe jogou hoje, como eu falei anteriormente, podemos jogar de igual para igual com qualquer equipe da, da conferência. A questão é diminuir os, 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 os erros individuais, a, concentra, a falta de concentração, no, principalmente nos últimos minutos do jogo, e, e ter partidas mais completas. Isso acho que foi, foi comprovado hoje no, no jogo de hoje, e é frustrante sair desse um jogo desse sem, sem nenhum ponto. E a última pergunta, em situações como a de hoje, que o time sofre dois gols no final em cinco minutos, o que um treinador na, na beira do campo pode fazer para tentar evitar situações como essa? Olha, é, é, o, o, é muito difícil, né? Com, com, jogando num, num estádio que está lotado, tem muito que a gente pode fazer é, dando instruções táticas, tem muito que a gente pode fazer fazendo trocas de jogadores, mas é, muito também vai no, do jogador no campo. Né? o jogador que está lá dentro e ele está vendo as situações de jogo ele está vivendo as situações de jogo eu acho que é, é um pouco de cada um é, infelizmente hoje não como mais aconteceu mais algumas vezes não terminamos o jogo da maneira que ter, deveríamos terminado concentrado e focado segurando e, e, e batalhando para manter o zero atrás tá beleza Paulo muito obrigado obrigado Thank you, Paula.